Hey, I'm Noah Reed. And I'm Jesse Mueller. And we're, we're talking, talking about, about the, the minutes. minutes on Playbill. It's one thing until it's not. It's like it's like a, a a moment in time, a little slice of life of like the lies we tell and the secrets we keep, and it and it's surprising. It's hilarious that it's hilarious at what you found hilarious and surprising at what you found hilarious. It's you could describe it's it like a but. it's like a a, a, a mirror being held up to America, but it's like a, one of those funhouse mirrors that's all like warped and strange. You see yourself and you're like, oh my God, that's a bit scary and also incredibly funny. <laughs> it's a dark comedy that gets very, very dark it by is. the time it's over. It is. In fact, it's no longer a comedy by the time it's over. But the thing that's curious about it is if you talk about the sort of lofty aspects of it, um, it kind of kills the spirit of the piece. But in fact, it's kind of an investigation of well, what ordinary people will do to maintain the status quo. I would describe the minutes as a 90-minute comedy. One act, uh, one scene, uh, 11 characters on stage, uh, at a city council meeting, which uh, happens in real time. And uh, it's very funny, I hope. <laughs> It was really interesting because you also, you know, we have a new cast member. So, you know, like you're, you think, okay, so what, as a director, you're, you're listening for Noah's take, you're listening for his rhythms and you're listening for his thought process. And I thought, well, this, this will be easy. I'm just listening to Noah. And then all of a sudden these things start popping and they feel different and they feel new and your brain starts to kind of fire in a lot of different ways. And that was exciting because we aren't just trying to remount the thing after you know 20 performances that there is a there is an actively live contemporary feel to the piece and you know the biggest thing that tracy and i said was we don't want people going oh that's like so 2019 you know so or even 2020 so there's really really new stuff that we're hearing and i think there are, there are going to be new things for the audience to hear as well i mean a lot has happened in the past two years right a huge deal has happened. You started work yesterday and the play is, well, slightly darker because of where the world is. It makes it, it, makes it more fun. It makes the play overall a little bit more dangerous in the good way. The play kind of dictates the change. You know, I mean, we've, we did this play years ago at Steppenwolf and there was a certain reality then in 2017. And that was different in 2020, and now it's different in 2022. So the, the play kind of dictates it. We're hearing the same lines we used to hear, and they sound very different now. Yeah, has more, which is also marks of a good play that they can adapt to the times without Tracy having to rewrite me. Yeah, but we just kind of have to. We have to attack it slightly differently. Anna and Tracy both yesterday was our first day of rehearsal, and they were both very articulate and helpful about identifying aspects of the play that have sharpened and become even more uh, urgent and more meaningful with some of the things we've observed over the last couple of years. And so uh, I think this is a play that, that is extremely timely in terms of what it, what it observes. And it's also great entertainment. It's just really, really fun. And so I think, you know, we're all shedding the, you know, the pain of these dark years that we've just gone through and being separated from each other and the work we love to do but we're also super excited to be back together it's a roller coaster so uh, everything um, a lot of laughter um, some self-examination um, and and some uh, some serious conversations after the show about how funny it was and what kind of lessons are being learned and not learned and America now and just a lot, a lot of, it's gonna be very thought provoking and fun. Maybe it'll make people want to run for city council. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> I mean, I say this as a fan of the people in the room, but it's some of the best in the business. On stage, backstage, our director, the design team, the producers, the stage manager. It's the best people in the business. And so if, you're, if you want to see, uh, a play with excellence at the, at the core, this is the one.